Hello, welcome to Morning Prayer for Wednesday the 2nd of September 2020. For this service of Morning Prayer, you'll need to have your own copy of the Bible so that you can read the scriptures for yourself and meditate on them. Uh, and you'll need to have the video remote if you're watching by video so that you can pause the video for that purpose and also to pray. Let's begin by asking God into our hearts and onto our lips. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The opening canticle for a Wednesday is Psalm 8. Let's use for this service a hymn of praise to God for his creation and the fact that it shows his generosity and his loveliness. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The Psalms set for today are Psalms 110, 111 and 112 uh, and uh, if you want to have just one of them the service suggests Psalm 111. So here's a metrical version of that, all my heart will praise the Lord.
and you might like to pause the video to reflect on Psalms 110 to 112. Our Old Testament reading moves on just a little bit uh, and misses out uh, the rape of Tamor by uh, Amnon uh, and also the murder of Amnon by Absalom. And so it pitches in part way through the story of Absalom uh, where he's already been in disgrace for something and he's trying to get back into favour in the land. The Bible reading is 2 Samuel chapter 15, the beginning part of it. Uh, verses 1 to 12. Uh, would you like to pause the video uh, and read that for yourself? And the set canticle for responding to the Old Testament reading is Seek out the Lord while he may be found from Isaiah chapter 55 verses 6 to 11. Uh, if you wish, please pause the video uh, for that now. Uh, otherwise, uh, please carry on with me uh, to the New Testament reading in Acts chapter 9, which is the story of how St Paul behaved immediately uh, after his conversion. Of course, he's still called Saul at this stage. Uh, Acts chapter 9 from verse 19, second half of it, to verse 31. Please pause the video and read that for yourself. And as a way of responding to that, uh, here's a song about the conversion of St Paul. Uh, I suppose really it related more to yesterday's reading, the passage that immediately precedes the one that we've had. Uh, in thrall to ancient standards, uh, St Paul was a prisoner of the old way of looking at things until Jesus came into his life with an amazing voice. Enthralled to ancient standards, convinced his cause was right, and persecuting those who hailed Christ Jesus as the light, consenting to the stoning Christ, who cried for taste of blood, can such a man be turned aside from evil into good? Then flashed a light from heaven, and came a thundering voice. Why do you persecute me so, by such an easy choice? So hard for you to kick against the evidence you see. Now rise and go, for I will show what you must do. In helplessness and blindness, in fasting and in prayer, three days until the message came from Christ's disciple there. I lay my hands upon you now, receive your sight, I say. The Holy Spirit fill your life, baptize you in the way. The former persecutor now preached and tilled and healed and spread the news of God's own Son and mysteries revealed. Rise up, Lord God, evangelists, to preach and teach today that we might spread your Son's good news, bring others to his way. And so let's turn to prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we give you our thanks for the beauties of creation, uh, for the way that the scenery and the weather and the plants and trees and all the things that you have made show your divine power and your purposes and your goodness in our lives. 
help us to appreciate you and to uh, understand your purposes in our hearts that we may respond to you all our days with love and service. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In the three psalms, uh, two of which are acrostic poems, we thank you, Lord, for your goodness to us. Help us to respond by giving you good things in return. And help us to acknowledge your Son as he is our King, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, we pray for those in positions of leadership. And as the court in David's time was wrecked by internal political wranglings, uh, so it is often in our time as well. Be close to those who are our leaders. Help them to behave with integrity and uprightness. Grant that the welfare of people might be more important than their own personal advancement. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, we thank you for Saul's immediate proclamation that Jesus is Lord, that Jesus is the Son of God, that Jesus is Messiah. Help us to have a firm grasp on the centre of our faith as we put into words the hope which is in our hearts. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please pause the video and pray for the things on your own heart. The collect for today, which is a prayer to summarise our time of praying. Almighty and everlasting God, you are always more ready to hear than we are to pray, and to give more than we either desire or deserve. Pour down upon us the abundance of your mercy, forgiving us those things of which our conscience is afraid, and giving us those good things which we are not worthy to ask, except through the merits and mediation of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's pray in the Lord's Prayer the words that Jesus taught his first disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And so may God strengthen us in our attempts to share him with others and bless us through his son Jesus.